hate crimes are on the rise. That's according to troubling evidence released today by the Anti-Defamation League. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian has the details and the reaction. The ADL says 2022 was the worst year yet for anti-Semitism since it started keeping track 44 years ago. 3,700 incidents nationwide, averaging about 10 per day that year, a 36% increase from 2021. They're up to a 30-year high, and incidents are up to the highest we've ever seen. It's a toxic combination. The state with the most incidents, New York, the third, New Jersey, which saw more than 400 incidents in 2022, up 10% from the year before. Two-thirds of the incidents in New York were in New York City, which saw 395 overall last year. NYPD stats show Jews face the most hate crimes compared to other populations by at least about 70 percent. Uh, you don't need Jews for anti-Semitism, but if you're talking about harassment of Jews, the more Jews you have, uh, perhaps the more, the more anti-Semitism you're going to have. The Anti-Defamation League reports white supremacists are behind most of these incidents. Avi Posnick with Stand With Us, an international organization that works with students against anti-Semitism. There is a lot of fear out there, especially for young people when they look online, when they see what's happening, when they hear about the incidents, there is fear that you know in different communities they, they could be attacked. Evan Bernstein is CEO of Community Security Service, which trains volunteers to be security guards at synagogues and Jewish events. I wish we had we stopped growing. I wish we were needed, but I, I just don't see that trend uh, dissipating anytime soon. On the local level, the ADL and Bernstein say more resources are still much needed from both law enforcement and lawmakers. In Hell's Kitchen, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.